So, at the heart of every computer lies a central processing unit or CPU. These power powerful chips execute the programs that drive everything from operating systems on your computer to simple tasks like managing your microwave functions. Even your car might have hundreds of CPUs controlling everything from braking system to infotainment screen. The birth of CPUs. The earliest CPUs such as IBM 360 mainframe for huge complex machines made up of thousands of parts. But in 1971, Intel changed everything with the Intel 4004, a single chip, 4-bit CPU that revolutionized handheld calculator. This was a leap towards compact and powerful computing. The rise of personal computing. The Intel 4004 paved the way for even more powerful and affordable CPUs like MOS Technology 6502. This chip was, was the driving force behind the personal computer and video game boom powering the iconic devices like Apple II and Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, now complexity of such CPUs. As the personal computer market grew, so did the complexity of CPUs. IBM's choice of the Intel 8088 for its PC started a trend of adding more features, creating powerful chips capable of handling 32-bit and later 64-bit operations. These complex instruction set computers or SIS aim to be mainframes on a desktop. The risk philosophy emerges. Not everyone believed that complexity was the answer. Some engineers thought that re simpler, reduced instruction set computers or RISC could outperform the CISC designs with fewer, more straightforward instructions. These CPUs sh could execute tasks faster and more efficiently. Now, let us move to the ARM wrist revolution. In 1982, the Acorn computers wanted a more modern CPU but did not want to follow Intel. They created their own, the ARM CPU. Based on risk principles, ARM might have faded away if not for its power efficiency, which caught Steve Jobs' attention for the Apple iPod. This marked the start of ARM's rise, later powering nearly every smartphone and tablet. Despite ARM's success, there was still room for innovation in 2010. Engineers at the University of California, Berkeley, launched a new RISC-based architecture, RISC V. What made RISC V special? It was open source. Anyone could create a compatible CPU without licensing fees. This has opened the doors to endless possibilities, from tiny microcontrollers to powerful supercomputers. RISC-V presents a bold new feature for computing with its flexibility and openness. It's already making its way into countless, into countless devices from consumer electronics to industrial applications. The RISC-V revolution is just beginning. So as we continue to explore and await, the CPU remains the heartbeat of our digital world. RISC-V is set to play a central role in shaping the future of technology, empowering engineers and, and innovators everywhere to push the boundaries of what is possible.